I've just been hanging out. I'm gonna turn down the, oh, that's turning it up. I'm gonna turn this down. I've actually been getting a lot of questions um, on how I, like if I like it and all of that. So the answer is yes. I love this thing. It's linked down below. Really, it's like been one of my favorite tech purchases in a really long time. All right, so I think you guys saw the bicycle clip and then if I if I am putting things in order, I really don't know. Maybe I'll just do a little story time of my day instead so it kind of makes more sense. But what I started off doing today is I got up, took a shower, put my makeup on, and I started filming my Walmart haul. I was almost done filming all of my clips when I had to leave to make an appointment to have my daughter's bike assembled. So, and then that was the clip I'm gonna put in now. So this was me taking the bike back home and it's so cute. I can't wait for my daughter, you know, to come home. I actually don't have a bike. I ordered a bike. It's kind of a weird story. I guess I'll just tell it anyways because it will make no sense on like why I ordered it again. So I ordered my bike the same time I ordered my daughter's and my daughter's bike arrived first, but when her bike arrived, um, I opened it up and I was like, oh, it's not assembled. Wait, what? I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be assembled. And I attempted to put it together myself and multiple times and it did not work out. So I ended up, and at this point, my bike had arrived and I was just like, maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe I should just return my bike because at this point it was too late to return my daughter's bike. So I was kind of like stuck with it. So, and I'm like, maybe I'll just have somebody like put it together and thinking it was going to cost a lot. And then I thought, you know what, I'll just get like my bike at like a sporting goods store like Walmart where they put it together for you, you know, without additional cost. So that was my thought process and why I returned my bike at the time. But I made the appointment with this guy who did an amazing job and the price was really great. So I decided I'm going to go home. I'm going to order me my bike. And now our bikes will match. So it's, it'll be really cute too. Her bike is green and my will, mine will be coral. Um, I actually wanted the yellow bike and I'll link our bikes down below. Um, but the yellow one was a little bit more money. And I was just like, mm, forget it. I'll just, I'll just get the pink one. So... Anyhow, um, they also have a, bla a black one and I almost got the black one, but I was like, you know what? This will be a fun time to like have a color. So I made myself choose a color, but I digress. So her bike is done, ready to go. I ordered my bike today. It gets here in a couple of days. I'll take it back to him. He'll put it together. And then hopefully by the time my daughter comes home for the weekend, we'll have our bikes and it will be like our first time literally riding bikes together. So when she was little, she had a bike, but I didn't, you know, I just watched her. Anyway, so after that, I came back home, finished filming my try-on clips for Walmart, got the video edited, had some upload issues, fixed that, got it released. I think you guys saw me make some corn dip. And even though, like, I've mentioned it in my Instagram live, so if you just happen to catch it, you'll probably know what I'm talking about if you didn't. I know you'll probably still kind of be left in the dark a little bit because truly I don't want to dive into all of the details because it's like it's exhausting but I've been going through a stomach journey and my whole life basically and I'm at a point where I'm just like I'm over it and so I'm trying to make some changes now you saw me make corn dip and you're like why are you making that for your stomach? So the thing is, is right now I'm in a place where I'm just trying to pacify my stomach. I'm just trying to eat things that I know don't bother it as much as other things. Because at the end of the day, anything I eat, healthy, processed, sweet, 
savory, it doesn't matter. Everything bothers my stomach. So, um, so right now, until I go see a doctor and, and get on a new journey of what I need to do to fix this, I'm just, again, trying to make sure my stomach stays as calm and not inflamed as possible. I mean, I can't have broccoli. That makes my stomach the worst, pretty much out of everything. And it's healthy. Grapes. I can't even talk about what grape says to my body. So it's just like, there's so many things. Um, and so that's the corn dip. So I know like, I just wanted to point that out because I don't want it to be like confusing and not make sense, but this is my stomach. I know what my stomach, what's easiest on what my stomach seems to be able to handle. So that's just what I'm doing until I can get like the right, you know, treatment, diet plans, all of that stuff. Um, so anyways, enough of that. Oh, I placed an order for Shein. It got here. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the things because mostly what I got in this order were like, uh, like, you know, bra and underwear set. So I'm not really going to show those on camera, but, um, I will show you the earrings that I got because they are super cute. Oh my gosh. I mean, have you ever? Those are really cute. Love those. And then these. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. I just like the material of them. Like acrylic or whatever this is. So cute. I think these come in multiple colors as well. And so does this one. This is a little bow thing. So here's what it looks like. It's got a long tail. And then it just has like a little alligator clip on the back. I thought this would be cute for when I wear a ponytail. And these earrings are new as well, but I got these from Walmart. They were part of my Walmart haul. But since I was mentioning earrings, I thought I would show these to you guys in case you do not watch any videos from my main channel. I also got these pair of shoes from Shein. They're like these little fur-lined boots. But let me tell you straight up, I will link them for you if you want me to, but just so that you know, they feel incredibly cheap. Like, um, they look really cute, and I tried them on. I think they're fine. Um, but just FYI. I mean, I'm going to wear the heck out of these for sure. But, um, yeah, so hopefully I don't forget to link this stuff for you. I also got these, like, press-on nails. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And then I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, I finished putting them together. I think that they're not the right size. They had other sizes. I just think I did it wrong. But overall, I mean, if this works out and they just like stick really well and they last, you know, a while, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this more often for sure. They're also a lot longer than like I normally do my nails. I do keep them still very short, like half of that. I would kind of get rid of. Not to mention, this is like more of a summer color. It's like a coral. I don't know why I thought it was like a red. It just looked red under the lights at Walmart. But it's definitely coral, which is nice. But it's just, um, if I would do like any nail color right now, it would be black. 